I wiped the sweat off my brow. Now that I think about it, I realize my whole body is sweating like I've been drenched with a bucket of water. But I'm lucky it just ended like this. That was really bad. If I had taken a second longer to recover myself, I would probably have destroyed most of my body. It's not even that easy. But it is true that you won't improve your magic if you're scared of death. As long as you study magic, death is always right beside you. Even a simple magic repeated every day can go off with a si simple mistake taking the caster's life. No, thank you. Kiritsu said so, said so sadly. Maybe he meant that he didn't want, admit, want me to take such a step. Kiritsugu said that to me when I told him I wanted to be just like him. I still don't know what he meant. But Emiya Shiro has to become a superhero who goes around saving people just like Emiya Kiritsugu. No one said it's easy. It's not enough to understand the structure of an object with mere vision. A skilled magus only attempt, detects what's important and channels magical energy into without waste. My dream is to become a superhero. I remember what Fuji said during dinner. I don't think it's embarrassing nor impossible. It's already determined Shiro Emiya will succeed Emiya Kiritsugu. That's why even though I'm inexperienced, I've done everything I can. I don't know what kind of a person a superhero would be. So I can only approach it by helping others within the limits of my abilities. I've aimed straight for that goal for the past five years, but when things just go wrong like this, I do have doubt. <sighs> Well, if you go around con constantly saying, I'm going to go be a hero, you're never going to be a hero. People are only heroes when they understand that I'm just a normal person. But they go above and beyond the call of duty and actually do what they need. That is the most of them. Most heroes don't have that goal, I want to be a hero. Most just become a hero through them doing actions they deem as right, and what they know is the right thing to do. They don't become a hero by saying, I want to be a hero. That's not how you become a hero. I look up at the sky through the window. It's not like I can just randomly do good deeds. I think being a superhero is different from uh, just helping others. I know that, but the question is, how can I become one? The difference between the two uh, the two is the thing I failed to understand the past five years. Oh good, I fell asleep in the shed again, probably. Ah, two, day two. Fate's day night. My awakening is dark. Perhaps I just don't dream much, but unless something really special happens, I always ha seem to have the same dream. What I imagine are swords. I don't know why it is, but this is the only thing that comes into my mind. There's no meaning or reason to it. Uh, it may just be one aspect of making up Shiro Emiya Shiro. There are no dreams to dream. The only things I recall from sleep are things I was taught a long time ago. For example, about Magi. Even if I'm an amateur, if I'm a Magus, it's only natural for me to understand the kind of world I live in. Frankly speaking, a Magus is an exceptional ex is an exception who deviates from modern society. But even exceptions must band together to survive. Father told me uh, that the group of Magi called the Magical Magic Association. He also said that I shouldn't associate with them. <laughs> There's a group of them. Don't fuck with them. They're basically the Senate. The Magic Association hides magic magic and organizes Magi. They basically keep watch to see that magi do not affect society with magic, but the strange part is that they do not prohibit misuse of magic. According to Kiritsugu, the magic association is only interested in the concealment of magic. Even if a magus carries out his research at the expense of the lives of many ordinary people, the magic association will not punish him. 
Their priority is that the magic should not become public, so they do not ban magic. So they're crazy people who think you can do you can do anything as long as you don't get caught. Anyway, the surveillance of the magic association is thorough. Most magical research would cost the lives of ordinary people, and as a result, the existence of magic would become public. So the association does not allow research that would harm society. So magi stay at home and research quietly while the normal world carries on unmolested. Hence, magi only try to hide themselves to escape the association. So perhaps I just don't know uh, know what in a magus lives in this town. <laughs> huh. I hear Fuyuki City is a spiritually excellent area. Such an area, all, uh, area always has a distinguished magus with a history. They are called the second owner, and an elite and the association in, uh, entrust the area to them. Magi who would live in the area must uh, visit them and obtain their permission to construct a workshop. That's probably uh, the fake priest, Kire. That's probably... He's probably part of the association. Looking at it like that, we're thieves living here uh, without the permission of the land lord. Father was an outlaw who cut his ties with the association and moved here without the consent of the administrator of Fuyuki. The owner doesn't know that Kiri Emiya Kiritsugu was a magus. With reasoning like that, I think our position is ambiguous. Father, the real magus, has passed away. And I, his son, and pupil don't, don't know the magic association, and have not, have not the skill to be a magus. From the association's point of view, they would ha want to catch an amateur like me doing things. But I've seen no movement yet. No, I've heard that Japan is relatively hidden from the eyes of this association, so I think I would have just not been found out. I don't think you're making enough moves to be found out. But that doesn't mean I can let my guard down. People say that the eyes of the association are everywhere. On top of that, if you commit a crime with magic, the heretic hunters of the church will come after you. That just means that wh whatever you use for use magic for lack of care will create enemies. I, Emi Ashiro, just have to study independently, taking that into account. Oh hey, I actually slept in my room this time. I wake up to the see the sun shining through the window. Ah, damn, Sakura is not here to wake me up. Shame. The sun may have just risen, and it's still a little dark outside. <laughs> I get up, trying to not be defeated by the morning chill, and quickly fold up my futon. It's 5:30. One of my strengths is waking up at this time, no matter how late I go to sleep. I do sometimes make mistakes and wake up late, like yesterday, but I usually wake up early. <laughs> Since I let Sakura do all the work yesterday, I have to return the favor this morning. I should finish pre preparing before Sakura arrives. I cook rice and make miso soup. And it was radish and carrot yesterday, so I make onion and potato miso soup today. I also make the usual broth, egg, and uh, broth boil, and I'm done. I cut and salt the sori, and stomp just before cooking it. It's almost 6 o'clock. I finished earlier than expected, so I have a little extra time. So what should I do? Well, he didn't give me an option, so I'll go and train. The morning exercises are my daily routine, so I'll go and stretch my body out a little bit. The empty dojo is quiet enough to brace myself. In the morning when the sun has just risen, the silence has a holy feel to it that fascinates those who come here. There's only one thing to do now that I'm here. Since Kirisugu died, this place has become a gym to train my body. Even a magus cannot neglect their uh, to train their body. One of the requirements for a magus is to have excellent physical abilities. While Kirisugu was alive, he had many matches here. We had many matches here. It was pretty much him beating on me, so I don't I didn't learn anything about how to win a, in a fight. Oh, that's why Tosaka is so good at physical ability. Uh like she's so good physically. Because she needs to be. But I think I learned the difference between a fight and a battle. In other words, I was taught the difference between killing your opponent and beating your opponent. That is an important distinction. 
<laughs> Knowledge and experience are different. Unless I know in advance, it's hard to tell whether I'm involved in a fight for or a murder. It's a simple story. As long as you learn magic, you might destroy yourself, and times will come when you have to fight. For magi, a uh, fight be means killing each other. So I think that Kuritsugu wanted to teach me a, uh, was to prepare my mind to, for the prospect of death. But it's been a while since my teacher passed away. On my own, all I can do is simple exercises that alone could do. <laughs> that anyone could do. After warming up my body, stretching, I start my exercise, keeping my attention inside my body. I comprehend the flow of the magic circuit and the friction in my bones, the distortion in my thinking during fatigue, all while I'm training. Well, I mean, I don't think he's doing the type of training. Like, if you just, you know, bulk up, get some muscle on you, make sure you're still good on your feet, all that stuff, oh, you'll be prepared for most fights. I think you're skipping some numbers there. Even a simple push-up can be training for the magic uh, magic circuit if I put on a mental shackles instead of mental weight, metal weights. As I don't have a teacher, exercise like that of club mor club's morning practice is an important part of training. Yeah, I kind of smell bad, but yeah, sure. あとは食器の支度と魚に火を通すだけ。あ、それなら fun. Sakura is cheerful. And behind that admirable junior? あ、この匂いは白の卵焼きね。そっか。今朝は白の朝ごはんなんだ。Oh my god, there's a little tiger on her fucking mug. Amazing. Fuji moves slowly to the table. I have to cook the fish I prepared. Sakura, Sakura takes out a dish from the bag. I think I saw a faint bruise on her wrist when she leaned forward. Ah, damn it. Sakura, just wait a minute. Yes, what's up, Can I see your hand real quick? What's up, Hey, uh, can you hand me that? Grab her arm? Oh, wow, isn't that something? God damn it. Let me guess her brother's abusive. Yeah, let me go kick the little shit's ass. She looks away awkwardly. And that tells me who caused that bruise. Okay, now I gotta I gotta pay him a visit. I gotta pay him a little visit. <laughs> Just teach him uh that's not how you treat your sister. Let me te let me uh tell you how you should. And let teach him the right way. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'll set him straight. Don't beat your sister. <laughs> no friend of mine would beat their sibling. Let's put it that way. Because I'll set them straight about how they should treat their younger sibling. Yeah, let's put it that way. <laughs> Fell down the stairs, right? <laughs> No, oh, don't worry, I'll be right back. I just need to go visit the archery club in the morning. Just remembered I, <laughs> I had some stuff to take care of. I had to throw out the trash over there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I usually fall on my wrist. Don't make excuses for him. He's a son of a bitch. And <laughs> I'll put him in his place. Yep. I had to go beat his ass now. Yeah, I'm 
Don't care, probable cause. I'm not listening to you in this case. You're the one that's pulling out bullshit excuses. Sakura falls silent. Sakura looks calm, but she is qu pretty obstinate. It's u useless to say anything to her now. Oh, I don't have to tell her. I don't need her permission to beat her brother's ass. Oh, Dude, doing nothing's not going to solve anything. You need to kick his ass. Someone needs to kick his ass. Hard. And tell him, <laughs> you touch her again, I'll break your fucking arms. Don't apologize. Oh, yeah, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. That's right, he's a douchebag. At the mention of Shinji's name, Sakura looks away awkwardly. In other words, he is the cause of that bruise. Obviously. Mato Shinji has a bad habit of being hard on his sister, Sakura. There's a difference between being hard and beating his sister. There's a difference. A clear, distinct difference. I first noticed it about a year ago. This has been going on for a year and you haven't done anything? Sakura was injured sometimes, and she just evaded my questions when I asked about it. When I asked Shinji about it, of all things, he said he was the one that hit, who hit Sakura. Oh, that's when I, I just beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's when I just... You lay it right across his face. Just punch him right across his face and say, What the fuck's wrong with you? What do you mean you hate your sister? When I asked him why he hit her, he said that he just hit her because he felt like it. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, I'm, I'm beating the shit out of this little bastard. Hell no. Why is any girl like him? After that, I got pissed and did to Shinji what he did to Sakura. I did break his arms. Since then, we've been estranged. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how uh, that works. Oh, hell no. No acquaintance of mine beats their girl. Uh, beats their girl or their sister. No. No. That's, the, that's a line you don't cross, and that's... One where he needs to understand, uh, that's not how you treat people. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work on that right as I get to archery club today. <laughs> I have to talk to him after school today. Out back. Don't worry about it, though. He probably won't come home today. Or when he does, he'll just be extremely apologetic for his actions. Oh, I'll be sure to make sure he doesn't think it's a fight. <laughs> because I'll end it. Sakura says strange things sometimes. <laughs> Bitch boy over there? Yeah, I'm not afraid of him. I I am much stronger than him. I did. Yeah, there's no there's no remorse for this son of a bitch. I point at my left shoulder. There's a scar there. It happened a year and a half ago. A shipment collapsed on me during work and I hurt my left shoulder. I got out with just a broken bone, but the shipment was a hazardous when I got a burn on my skin. After that incident, I quit the archery club. My school archery club emphasizes informalities as they let us shoot formally even as students. The men expose their left shoulders when they shoot. Shinji commented that it might be indecent for someone shooting formally to have a scar on their shoulder. Since I was getting busy with work, I quit the archery club right then. What a fucking asshole. Oh, 
怪我なんて支障はないって言ってるのに。Yeah, he, it's because of your douchebag brother. 何を平和な。藤姉は全身骨折しようが、支障ないっていうやつだぞ。No, I'm sure you actually don't have an issue with it. You just don't because he made such a big deal about it and would probably absolutely be an ass about it. 先輩、私、真面目な話をしているんです。I'm sure you are. I should answer seriously too, but I can't give her the answer she wants. I'm sure you are. 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 I'm sure you I pat Sakura's shoulder. <laughs> It's a very、uh, platonic thing. I pat her shoulder. The hell, dude, come on. And she nods so powerfully that it seems she might drop the plate she's holding. Oh my god. Please don't break those. I only have two. Ah, damn it. It's almost 7 30. Sakura and Fuji have already left for this morning club for their morning club practice. Oh, I, I want to go too. So I can beat his ass for being a fucking shit stain. I went to school early yesterday because Issei wanted me to, but I leave my house at the usual time today. Hopefully, I don't get mugged on my way to school. I run into an unusual scene when I reach the intersection. Several police cars are parked outside a house. Something must have happened, and it's noisy, and lots of people are surrounding the area. I'm curious, but I cannot tell what's going on with all the people surrounding it. I have no time, I should so I should prioritize school. Nah,、yeah, not important. Someone probably was killed in there, but eh, probably not important. I reach school ten minutes before the bell. I enter the main gate as usual. Hello? Oh, it's you. I bump into a familiar female student. Thanks. She laughs as if something is really funny. Mitsuzuri Ayako. She was my classmate in first year, she, and she's now the captain of the archery club. Hey, can you accidentally miss with your shot and hit Shinji right in the throat? She's very insightful, and everyone expected her to become the captain since the first year. Well, in other words, her mental age is older than her real age, so she's been the older sister type everyone counts on since she was a first year. Though she gets mad when people say that, according to her, she's not that old. Ah, now you're old. よからぬ感想を漏らさなかったかもしそんなものは漏らさないあくまで客観的な事実を連想しただけだそれで気を悪くするのは三つずりの勝手だがお、言うじゃんいいね正直に答えるくせに何をどう考えてたかは口にしないんだものエミヤ、シンジと違って隙がないな Of course not Because I'm not an idiot シンジなんでそこにシンジが出てくるんだなんでも何もあんたとシンジって友人じゃない No, no I shoot that down immediately シンジの男友達ってあんただけでしょそれにお忘れでしょうが私これでも弓道部の首相なのうちの問題児とやめちまった問題児をくっつけるのは自然な流れだと思わない I am no friend of that son of a bitch まあ確かに自然だ弓道部ってのは関係ないけど、俺とあいつは腐れ縁だからな。I have no good intentions towards him.He is a son of a bitch, and that's all he will stay.There is no, re no redeeming qualities that have been found in him so far.And I doubt there will be.I really do.I mean, he, he smart mounts off every fucking second. He acts more important than everyone else. He beats his sister for over a year at this point because he 
Feels like it. No, he deserves no respect. あ、カチンときた。あんたね、弓道部の話になると急に冷たくなるでしょ。いいゴミ分よね。シンジをほっぽっといて、自分はさっさと退場しちゃうんだから。後に残されたあたしとかさくらの気持ちとか、少しは考
Oh, he lays a hand on her? I kill his ass. <laughs> I just kill his ass right then and there. <laughs> no. I break his arms for touching his sister. I kill him if he touches Reen. End of story there. Oh my god, you have way too much faith in this guy. I have no faith in him. He beats his little sister. What's wrong with you? Why are you giving him the benefit of the doubt? Maybe she likes hanging out with you. Nah, that can't be it. 